So today I wanted to talk about lipsticks that can make your teeth look yellow. It's probably something that we've all come across at some point, you know, and it's not always because our teeth are actually yellow. Sometimes it's just colors clashing. So I would actually argue <laughs> that the color that I'm wearing right now isn't necessarily the most flattering. Um, but I'm gonna show you two different lipsticks by the same brand and we're going to side by side the difference that they make with my teeth. Okay, that looks crazy, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix it. Um, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is go in with a, I'm gonna line my lips with a fairly orange lip liner um, because orange can really be the culprit here. Just ignore this, we'll fix it in a second. So the first one that I'm gonna go in with is Velvet Dragon. This is a lip, a, this is a lipstick from Lisa Eldridge. It's kind of a red, but it's like a rusty orange kind of red. Now, I personally think this is a beautiful color, but it can, if you think your teeth tend to look a little yellow, amplify that. So if you are looking at lipsticks that have a little bit more of an orangey or yellow or undertone, um, that lean a little bit more like toward that rusty color, it can really like bring out more of the yellow in your teeth. All right, now I personally think this is a beautiful lipstick color, but especially for my skin tone, it's not the most flattering in my opinion because it can bring out more of the yellow. When I smile, you might actually see more of that yellow on my teeth because it's a much warmer tone. Now, if you are trying to avoid this, then something that you wanna go for is more of a blue toned lipstick. This is actually a trick that Marilyn Monroe's makeup artist would use. They would put a little dot of like a blue toned red right near the whites of her eyes, like in her inner corner to make her eyes look brighter and bluer. So let's just try to remember this, especially for my bottom teeth. I feel like you can really see more yellow. Now I'm going to show you a blue toned lip. Now this is the exact same brand, Lisa Eldridge, but it is Velvet Ribbon, which is a blue toned red. Okay, I feel like you can probably see a huge difference just here, like without a side by side. This lipstick, this feels so unnatural. I don't smile very much. You can obviously see a big difference in like the color of it on, on just my skin. It is much more blue toned. It's a little bit more cool toned. This color, what is this called? Velvet Ribbon? This is literally the most perfect color for like any skin tone. It's going to look gorgeous. Uh, and what's really nice about it is the blue tone really brings out that brightness of your teeth. So it's not going to make your teeth look yellow. So if you are having a problem where your teeth are looking yellow because of your lipstick, you might want to try something a little bit more cool toned. It could just be that the colors that you're going for have a little too much orange or yellow in them. Um, you might even think like, oh, I need like a warmer tone because I have a warmer toned complexion, but that's not always the case. You wanna try and find that like middle, you know, so that it's going with your complexion, but it's also not making your teeth look yellow. This, is, this red lip is a little bit much with the hair and the shirt and the eye, but it's fine. All right, I will link my favorite colors, especially red lips, because I feel like that is one where people really like struggle um, down below in case you need recommendations. But if you are going with nude lips, just remember to try something a little bit more cool toned. Um, I hope this helped and let me know if you've had this problem because I definitely find that like more muted, uh, warmer tones, like things that tend to be like closer to my skin tone, um, topier shades usually end up making my teeth look really yellow. Yeah. Um, all right, guys, I will see you soon. Bye.